what I watched for the first time in February of 2021. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my patrons Mark McKeever and Matt Lane Fitness for supporting me up on Patreon. Uh, if you would like to be a patron of mine, I'd greatly appreciate it and you can click in the link above or below to see the special benefits you will get from being a patron of mine. If uh, you are new here, I appreciate you being here. I uh, would strongly encourage you to go and check out my other content before subscribing uh, to make sure that this is what you would like to be subscribed to. And if uh, you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you being here. Give this uh, video a like and a comment down below of what you thought was interesting from this video. Let's get into my first time watches of February 2021. Up first is the Netflix film Malcolm and Marie. This film I was highly anticipating this year and man it delivered. I absolutely love Zendaya in this film. She is absolutely incredible and is Oscar worthy of that role. This film is like dialogue heavy it is amazing about uh, marriage on the brink um, and uh, them uh, trying to get through it it's so good it's on Netflix I highly recommend it and then up next is Captain Fantastic with Viggo Mortensen kind of an interesting little film um, about a family going across the country they are uh, not into the modern way of living but it's uh, kind of cool how they uh, go about their lives and whatever and uh, I highly recommend that film as well it's very very good and then up next is Cider House Rules, Libbled Lady, The Ballad of Buster Scrubs, Jezebel, Destry Rides Again, The Legend of Bagger Vance, Eurovision Song uh, contest the story of fire Sega yesterday Sharknado 3 <laughs> and then we have um, a film called Viga Viva Va Las Vegas uh, with uh, Elvis Presley um it's actually the second film I've ever seen with Elvis Presley but <laughs> it's kind of funny my Nana was uh, um, a huge fan back in the day when he was highly popular he still is kind of popular with this music but um it's a pretty good movie but i highly recommend viva about las vegas and then we have ghost town she wore a yellow ribbon and then we have this year's the little things with denzel washington um this movie was interesting i'm i liked it um it was a good little thriller it was had a few twists and turns a couple that i saw um, do I recommend it? I'm kind of in the middle, maybe, maybe not. Um, it's pretty interesting of a movie, though. But uh, it's actually on, on HBO Max if you're interested in watching it. I would suggest if you are interested, go there. It's uh, really good. In uh, lots of people's, but in mine, I'm kind of in between. And then up next is Alfred Hitchcock's Torn Curtain. We have Under the Silver Lake, and then we have the original television, uh, It. Um, this was actually better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be kind of trash, but the way they went about it was interesting. It was like, I actually kind of like how they did that. Um, and uh, the way having it be, you know, I don't know if it was in, that way in the book, but um, they basically did it from second book kind of intertwining it with the first book and yeah the f and the remakes are amazing uh especially the first one um chapter one and uh so yeah i recommend it, it, the original it um and then i saw the adventures of ichabob and mr toad uh song of texas and then i saw nomadland which i was kind of disappointed um because i've been hearing great things about it <laughs> It's, it's fine. I get why it's well-loved, but it's for me, it's just okay. Um, and then I saw Soul Surfer, and then Chernobyl Diaries, a uh, f kind of like a found footage film uh, taking place in Chernobyl um, in modern day. It's uh, It started out great, and then it just kind of went eh, towards the end, and it was just like, 
you know what? I enjoyed it for what it was, but all in all, eh. Um, and then I saw Paper Man, an interesting film. Uh, Emma Stone, Ryan Reynolds, and Jeff David, Jeff Daniels, I should say. Um, with uh, Emma Stone being in this film, oh my god, I think this is, might be one of her under, most underrated roles of her career. I highly recommend it. It's on Amazon Prime. It is fantastic. I won't even tell you what it's about, but based on the poster, I'm sure you'll be like, what in the world is that? <laughs> um, and then we have the Pixar Theory, the Shaggy Dog, the original, not the Tim Allen. Um, and then we have Domino, which I was highly anticipating because of Kira Knightley, but was found to be rather disappointed. And then we have Pal Joey, Good Burger. <laughs> was really bored when I uh, decided to watch that, and I was like, eh, I'll give it a chance. <laughs> and then we have The Four Feathers, a very underrated Heath Ledger movie. Oh, my word. I highly recommend, guys, you watching this because it's on HBO Max. Fantastic. Uh, just watch it for Heath Ledger. He's amazing. Um, and then uh, up next is The Heartbreak Kid. I, if you ever watch this movie, do not watch through the credits. That There's an end credits scene that is trash, and it is... Yeah, I won't, I won't say anymore. Um, and then we have Cat People. 47 Ronin. And then we have HBO Max's Tom and Jerry, which I was left very, very disappointed. It was... I was anticipating kind of... And was rather disappointed even more than I thought I was going to be. It is awful, guys. I would highly suggest not watching it. And then the final movie of February that I saw was Disney's Saludos Amigos. Um, kind of a interesting uh, Mexican uh, film with Donald Duck and Goofy and all those uh, characters. It's a, it was a fun little watch. And that was my... First time watches of February 2021. If you are new here, I appreciate you being, I appreciate you making it to the end of the video, as uh, well as uh, if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you being here. Give this video a like, uh, or uh, give this uh, video a comment. It uh, helps with the algorithm, and I would appreciate uh, you guys if uh, you gave this both a like and a comment as well not just a comment not just like both it would be greatly appreciated thanks for being here i greatly appreciate you guys stay random